Hello everyone, this is Lori Anderson, host for Resurrect the Republic RTR Truth Radio Broadcast on RBN Network. We come to you with breaking news about the IMF Chief Christine Lagarde. As I reported to you back in August 23rd, 2016, Christine Lagarde was facing charges of embezzlement and fraud in a French court. And apparently the jury uh, or the court has now found her guilty of negligence. She has been found and convicted of negligence. However, she faces no jail time and the IMF board is supposed to meet shortly. According to reports off of Zero Hedge, uh, the New York Times is also covering this surprisingly enough. However, I will not use the New York Times information as they have been shown to put out too much fake news. The update is the IMF says in a statement following the Lagarde news that its board will meet shortly to consider the conviction. The executive board has met on previous occasions to consider developments related to the legal proceedings in France. IMF spokesman Gary Rice says in an email that it adds it is expected that the board will meet again shortly to consider the most recent developments. The International Monetary Fund Managing Director Christine Lingardi was found guilty of one count of negligence by a French court today. According to Bloomberg News, she was accused of failing to prevent a massive government payout to businessmen Bernard Tappy eight years ago while serving as France's finance minister, but most surprising is that she will face no fine or jail sentence. Ms. Lagarde was on trial on allegations of negligence stemming from her role nearly 10 years ago, settling a dispute between the French state and business tycoon Bernard Tappy. The verdict is a blow to the IMF chief who said Friday that the trial would end a five-year ordeal for her family and former colleagues. The conviction places both Ms. Lagarde and the IMF in a bind after the fund approved a second term for her as managing director earlier this year. However, it doesn't necessarily mean that the IMF will have to eject Mrs. Lagarde from her post, where she has won broad international support among both the fund's largest shareholders and its smaller members. More news from out, coming out of Bloomberg. The International Monetary Fund Chief Christine Lagarde was convicted of one count of negligence by Paris court over her handling of a multi-million dollar dispute when she was France's finance minister. 60-year-old Lagarde was convicted at the Corps de Justice de la République over events that occurred nearly a decade ago. Lagarde won't face a fine or jail sentence, the judge says. Lagarde was negligent in 2008 decision not to appeal arbitration, the judge says. Lagarde decided in mid-2008 not to appeal a 285 million euro, or 303 million, arbitration award for businessman Bernard Tappy that led to a massive government payout. Lagarde was cleared of second count related to her 2007 decision to take Tappy dispute to arbitration. The case stems from former state-owned bank Credit Lanali's disagreement with Tappy over the 1993 sale of Adidas AG, which he owned. IMF has just issued a brief statement. Of course, this wouldn't be the first time that an IMF head has been sacrificed for the greater good. Recall the impressive framing of Lagarde's predecessor, Dominique Strauss-Kahn, who, from front-running French presidential candidate, suffered a political and career train wreck overnight when he allegedly raped a maid at a New York City hotel. Do you think that this shows that they will actually start to be held accountable in courts of law? Or is this another sign that globalist banker elites will once again not be held accountable for the wrongdoing that they put upon the people around the globe. She received no jail time. She received no fines. Where is the justice in that? Will there ever be a day they are held accountable? What do you think? I will place the source links in the description box below. I look forward to hearing your comments. As always, watch your backs and check your facts. Semper Fidelis and good night.